Hello and welcome to Group Imaging. My name is Mike. I'll be showing you how to order a single-sided photo bookmark on our new website. First thing we need you to do is open a web browser on your computer. Go to camp.groupimaging.com. You do not need to add the www to the front of that address. Once you're here, click on the login button. It's up in the upper right or right here on the home page. Enter the email address that we have you registered under, along with the password that we sent you, which is usually your customer number. You can change that password after your first login. Once you're logged in under the featured products, uh, your template will be displayed. Go ahead and click on the one you want to use, and it brings up the, the product uh, page. We have some options here, but we're going to go right to the design tool by clicking on the design product button. This is our design window. Over here on the left hand side, it's going to have the object inspector, which will show you everything on your template that can be changed or edited. This button here is to kind of reset, you know, revert back to the original state of the template. Over here, we have the undo and the redo buttons uh, if you want to move forward and backward on the steps that you've already taken. Uh, down below, uh, we have some buttons that we'll use after you're done uh, or, or working on the design. These buttons here are to help you zoom in and out um, on, on the design window. Uh, especially for this product, um, it's a good idea to just go ahead and maximize that window, get it as big as possible so we can see all the detail that we have um, on, on this product. Uh, first thing we want to do is add a, uh, a photo uh, to the template. And if you look over here on the object inspector, we have a bookmark photo, and we also have a group photo. The bookmark is the smaller one over here, and then this is obviously the main photo. So there's a few ways to go ahead and add that. You can click right here on the Select Image button, and it'll bring up the gallery. This gallery is tied to your account. Uh, you can upload photos by clicking on the plus button. It'll bring up a folder on your computer. Uh, you'll need to browse to that location, uh, the, the location that your photos are stored. Uh, if you'd like to upload multiple photos, uh, you can do that. Uh, you can just highlight um, the first one, and if you hold down the shift key, you hit the last one in the range, it'll select everything in between. You can also use the control button, and click on that, hold down the control button, click on the other one. Um, today we're just going to upload one image, um, just to select that, and hit open. As soon as I click open, it uploads it to the server. Um, and it will upload, uh, the speed that it uploads will depend on your internet connection, uh, the, the speed of it. So once it's there, we can select it, and you can tell it's selected by the blue outline. Uh, hit the insert button, and it'll drop it right into the, the main window. Uh, but we want, um, we're going to need to move this one over and down a little bit, so we're going to just click on the photo to select it, and click on the edit button. And I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag, and slide it down. Uh, right about there. One thing I noticed, we, we pulled it over um, and we've left a, a gap or white area. Uh, so we definitely don't want that as we print. So we're going to have to resize this. You don't want to use the, the anchors that are right here in the middle. If you do, it'll stretch it'll stretch a photo uh, and it won't look right. I'm going to use the ones in the corners and they're going to resize it proportionally. So I'm going to go ahead and just slide that uh, right up to the edge there. And there it is. Now, if you had a photo and say it was it was cutting somebody off like that, um, the the best thing to do in that scenario is not, don't squeeze it in. Uh, go ahead and just kind of center it up the best you can. And and uh, later on, you you would let us know, and we can come back in, do a little Photoshop magic, and, and make that make it work, make it fit, uh, without distorting the image. Um, at, at least the people. So just keep that in mind if, if, if that situation comes up. And uh, later on we'll show you where to add the, the comment to let us know. Uh, once that's done and I have it where I'd like it, I'll go ahead and hit the, the done icon, the checkbox. That'll lock that photo into place. Now I need to do the same thing over here to the photo bookmark. Select image. You can do the same image or, or a different one, um, whichever you'd like. You have that option. Uh, select it, hit insert, and then this one's going to come in unrotated. Uh, so we will have to click on the image, hit edit, and this 
uh, this little button up here at the top, this circle. We're going to just drag, click on it and then rotate it over. It should snap into place. So obviously it's a little big, so remember we're going to grab it in the corner, bring it down. I'm going to overshoot this one so I can drag it back in. Okay, so once I get them kind of centered in there, looking good. Go ahead and click the Done button. That'll lock it into place. And then now we're ready to edit our text. Now these text um, boxes are actually tied together. So to edit those, we're going to have to come over to the Object Inspector and just click in that, that box and then I'm just going to put group, group Test. So that will re-render the, the text both here and over here on the side. Uh, once that's done, uh, I need to reduce this back to the original size so I can get back to these buttons down below. Now, if I didn't have the group name yet, but I've already put the photos in and got them centered and how I like them, um, you know, you don't want to start over. You can actually save the project for later. Uh, this will save it, the design, in your account. Um, and and you, know, you can come back and work on it when you have the information. On this one, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just save and continue to order. It will bring up a confirmation window. It gives you another opportunity to, to save it or to just continue on. Once the order is placed and checked out, uh, it cannot be edited. So just keep that in, that in mind. If you save the project uh, in your account and there's, there's a problem with it, we can actually come in and take a look and see what we can do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step. Um, when I do that, it comes back to the product page. Now we have an Add to Cart button. Uh, but before we click on that, we want to go ahead and enter in the reference for this for this product, um, the group name, and then select the delivery method we want to use for this one. Uh, if you click on the home ship uh, where we mail them out individually to campers, uh, you can do that and it also gives you an opportunity to upload the address files, the text, for, uh, text format, doc format, uh, CSV, uh, Excel spreadsheet, which is probably our favorite, um, yeah, just uh, however you have the addresses, uh, we'll work with them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the overnight shipping. I'm going to put a quantity of 15 in here, and we're going to add it to cart. Once I click on that, it's going to bring an approval window. So it gives us another chance to look at it, just make sure everything's good, text uh, spelling is correct. If I need to make a change, I can click there. It'll take me back to the design tool, uh, make the changes, you know, add it back to cart, approve it, uh, and you're good to go. So, so I'm going to go ahead and prove that one, and it's going to bring me to the cart. Uh, this would have, uh, it'll show us everything that we have um, in the cart uh, at that time. If we want to make any changes to quantity, we can do that. Uh, say I need 30 of those instead. Enter that, and then make sure you click on the update shopping cart button. That'll update the price and make that make that stick. Uh, you can actually still edit that it, that design if you if you'd like um, by by clicking on that edit button. Next thing we need to know is when do you need the photo. Uh, so, and this would be for the entire order. Uh, so I'm just going to select a day. Now this is going to be delivered by the end of that day. So uh, just make sure you keep that in mind. It's not necessarily 10:30 in the morning. Uh, it could be anywhere you know up to off the end of the day. Uh, if you have any comments or special instructions, you'd enter them here. So if you did have, say, on this group test, uh, I've got somebody on the left-hand side that's being cut off, you know, can you see if you can fix that? That's where you would enter that information in. Once that's all done, go ahead into the, to the checkout process. And here you can select your billing address. If you have multiple billing addresses, you can, you can enter those here. Continue on. This is our shipping address. Uh, you can have multiple shipping addresses. Just keep in mind we cannot ship to P.O. boxes. So once that's entered, go ahead and hit continue. This will give us our shipping fee summary. Um, so this this order uh, had 30, so it, it's, it'll be billed $15. If you have over 40, uh, the overnight shipping is free. Uh, continue on. Select your payment method, credit card, uh, or if you're on terms or have a prepaid uh, program, uh, you can click on the purchase order. Uh, continue again. You'll be able to enter a PO number or a reference uh, for, for this job. 
Um, and then I'm just going to put in test and continue again. This is our final confirmation page. Check the billing address, shipping address, um, and make sure the quantities are right. This is the last opportunity we have to check that. Once you hit the confirm, the order is submitted. Files are already on the server. We're able to work on them as, uh, as soon as uh, you click on that button. And the products will be on the way, their way to you as quickly as we can get them. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.